everybody and welcome back. My name is Subi and I am an embroidery artist and today is Tech Talk with Sue and what do you think we're going to talk about? This guy! We're going to do a little bit more on this guy. This is a Tartarus V2 by Razer and it's a gaming keypad and what these parts do is they put in shortcuts. I'm going to show you how I use it for embroidery. So let's go to the screen and let's go look and I'll show you more about this amazing gadget. All right, so here we are working on the Tartarus. This is the nice keyboard thing that I was telling you about for shortcuts. I'm working in E4 right now just for fun, um, just because this is what I normally do. I want to point out with this Tartarus how nicely your hand fits on it. Now, my fingers are a bit short, so what I did is I set up my keys on these first two rows, the ones that I use more often. Now these ones are, are for different stitch types and something that I won't change too often um, using it. So the ones I use all the time are on the bottom row. You can scroll with this. You can actually, I don't know if you can see it, let me turn it up for you. If you look right here, you can see that there's three lights and you can program this bad boy for three different programs. So if you have Hatch, E4, and say Embird or PE Design, you can set it up completely for each one specifically, which is really cool. Which is really cool, I like that. So there's a lot of other things, this is for scrolling, and I use this one, number 20, as enter. I really like it. So let me just show you how it works. So you can see on my screen, I'm on E4, that's using my mouse, and I'm going to hit number 16. So I'm going to hit my pre-programmed, I've already programmed it in, and what it's going to do is open a new design with the template that I've chosen. So what I programmed in there was Control N, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Um, so I have copy, I have paste, and I have ungroup because I tend to use that a lot in my workday. So those are my main ones because I do copy and paste quite a bit. And I find it's super handy for that. Look, look how the scroll wheel does the zoom. So you can get really fast with your left hand and say if you were working on your Cintiq, wow, that would take a lot of shortcuts. Um, other than typing uh, letters and words, I don't think you'd use your keyboard very much. This thing is a lot easier to move around than this thing. Um, so it, it would be really handy. And you don't have to zoom in or zoom out. You could program, you know, all the shortcuts. Um, usually in different embroidery programs, they will give you under the help, they will give you a list of all the shortcuts. I would print that out and then you can work with it a little bit and figure out which ones you use all the time. Another good way of setting it up is just work, digitize as normal, and maybe write down the ones, the shortcuts that you use all the time. Maybe it's ones that you search for all the time and you can't find, but that's how I set it up. I had to pay attention to what I do to figure out which ones I use more because I have to, I wanted to be so careful of how I programmed it because my hands are a little bit smaller than they should be i guess gamers have bigger hands maybe i don't know so let's let's look at it again i'm gonna do some lettering so i'm just gonna uh, type embroidery art on my clicky keyboard create text and can hold down my control button to keep it flat i can take off my hoop because we don't need it so embroidery art and let's make this a little bit bigger so everybody can see it beautiful why don't we put something around it and group it or maybe just right click uh do that change it sue b so right now these are both separate and i'm just going to group them just to show you another feature of, of using this so i'm just going to go group which is control G, uh, sorry control g control u control g sorry ungroup is control u I don't use it anymore because I have it programmed in this guy, so that's why I didn't know what it was. So if I'm working and I select it and I wanna change these two lines, you can see that it's grouped together. I have it programmed on number 19. I just click it and look, it's gone into two. So you can you know, make macros, you can make your own kind of shortcuts. 
Um, it really will speed up your digitizing to an unbelievable letter. It, it also makes it a lot easier to learn the shortcuts. So if you want to ungroup, like I said, it's control U to ungroup. I know it's number 19 and I personally find that ungroup 19 is a lot easier to remember. And uh, what I did too, it seems kind of silly, but I made myself a little, I made myself a little drawing uh, of all the things, obviously I finished it, but this is, I just kept it to show you guys. And I just made a drawing of the keypad and I kind of, you know, auditioned different things that would work that I use all the time. So that's really helpful. And you know, you can tape that right in front of you. You can tape that to your keyboard. You could make it smaller um, and that would help you get used to the keys a lot faster. But so that's a few ways to get started. I highly recommend, um, we happen to like Razer. This is the brand, this is the big brand of gaming. There are other off brands that I think probably would work absolutely fine. Um, another point I'd like to make is this is designed only for your left hand. So if you are left-handed and you're holding your pen in your left hand, this would be kind of hard to use with, um, with a pen and touch sort of thing. It would be because it's not, it's completely designed with the padding and the curvature. Um, another thing you can do too, if you have bigger hands, because I really do have smaller hands, is you can make this longer. You can just simply adjust it, but it's really lightweight and everything. But I think left-handed people might have a more difficult time using it. It's not quite as comfortable, but I think it is usable. So I said, I will look into it and see if I can find, I know Razor doesn't make it, but I'll see if I can find another brand that would suit. So I will be working on it and all the other left-handed people, digitizers out there, I will figure something out. So stay tuned in the next video and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to program this guy. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any videos just like this. There is more Embroidery Tech Talk to come and I'll stitch you guys later. Bye!